Come on, make a tackle, guys. All right, y'all. Gain of about nine on the play. Jared Mitchell in on the tackle. Huge freshman presence from him. Second and one here for the Colts. They give it up the middle to the big back. And he's going to fall forward for five yards. It's going to give, they're going to give him a first down option. Right on the 10 yard line, I would figure it would be first and goal, but oh, they are going to call it first and goal. Shift by the running back. He's looking for the slant. Good D. Wrap him up. Wrap him up. What? Oh, yeah, there's nobody there. That's another. He it was, was behind the line of scrimmage, so I don't know. He was behind the line. Was there a receiver near? Are they going to say there was a receiver near? I guess so, but I don't I don't know where he was. He, the ball did not cross the line of scrimmage, so you would think that that would be grounding, but they're not even considering it. Second and goal coming up for the Colts. I guess he was within 10 yeah. yards or so, so. High school, it's going to be a little bit more lenient. You don't like to see it if you're wearing red tonight. Shift by the running back. Kenneman takes and gives it up the middle, and we're all over him. He picks up maybe a yard. All right, folks, everybody out there watching had a little internet snafu, so if you're back with us, we're glad to have you back. If not, hopefully you find us here in the next few minutes. But Hey. You get what you pay for, I guess, Coach. I mean, you know, you just never know. I mean, obviously, we uh, there there is no tried and true method this day and age when it comes to uh, to oh, all of it. Yeah, I was gonna say we got a uh, new uh, new cameraman has stepped in for us here. I could easily see over the other one, but this one is uh, <laughs> a little bit larger in stature. Kenman back. Oh, oh it's right hands. through his hands. I'll tell you, that's one of the first drops that I've seen since. That is really the first and They were targeting there and just fourth and goal. They're going to kick a field goal here, and I hear. Or are they? <laughs> their their kicker is uh, up until tonight was unscathed on field goals, so he he's been true so far. Maybe we can. Uh, this is where he missed earlier, so maybe we can get another one. They've had trouble getting special teams plays on this end of the field. Logan Fowler. And he missed it. it. He it shaked way. it. Yes. It is way left. That's huge. So the Warriors maintain <laughs> the lead. There. What a What a stand by the defense. And you can just sense the energy coming back into the Warriors sideline and into the stands. It was an explosion of cheers coming from underneath. <laughs> the uh, the Warrior offense is going to take over first and ten from the twenty yard line. You have got on the near side. You've got Bowman, Sullivan, uh, Bowman, uh, sorry Mitchell, <laughs> on the far side in the trips. The give is to Davis. No blanking ship keeps it he goes to, to the, the side near line. side. Dylan Blankenship fighting for the he hard is. yards right there. Yeah, he got a good eight, nine yards on the carry, and he's a big kid. He's going to be able to get those for you. And this we are in the fourth quarter about to be, guys, with a two-point lead. Look for... Coach Mac Bryan and this Warriors offense to add more, but also look for them to try and eat as much time off that clock as they can. And we do have to run a play here before the end of the quarter. Looking Dylan to back throw. to throw. Wide open. Oh. oh. Brent Brent drifted a little a little far back to him and Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. 
You can see, you can see that Dylan you is uh, a, uh, definitely jacked up after that run. He was slinging it out here. You had a couple of options on that route right there. You had Brent down in the flat, but you also had Trayvon on the next level, and he yeah. had some open field around him. He did. And, and I, only had one man to beat. At, you know, second one, I wouldn't even minded to see, see Lancashire kind of just take it. Yep. Or Davis. I probably run Here's Blankenship the here. Face they, the handoff, oh, they fake he's it. rolling right. He's looking to throw. He throws. Oh. Over the head of Trayvon God. 8.2 to go. 14 12. Fourth and one. Flag is down there on is the play. A flag. Holding. And a hold on the Warriors. If you're Cahola, do you take it? Do you accept it here? I think they are. So this is going to bring up third and 11. So instead of the opt for the fourth down. They've not marked anything off yet. All indications are that they are going to, though. They are. I, I don't know. Again, I don't know if I agree with that, but that was a big hold, uh, about 12, 13 yards on the hold there. That I guess my vantage point's a lot different than them. <laughs> Blankenship in the shotgun. Going deep to Bowman. He is, and he has him for a first down. Rip Bowman. And that is why you make them kick it. And throw it up to Brent Bowman. He's going to go up and get it. I was going to say, in the very point that Corey made earlier in the night, there's nobody around here that can out-jump him on this field. He's six foot three, can dunk the ball any way you want him to. Sometimes. Yes, and it, that's it, exactly right. And it, it, 17 got lost. That, that's all there is to it. Sometimes you overthink yourself. We are uh, steak bit tonight, any way you want to factor it. <laughs> they may have. They may be thinking, you know, those guys are having too much fun up there. We're having a lot of fun, especially with big plays like that. That is, that is true. I'm sad you had to miss that. Mitchell, Ooh. wow. He was met a little early, but. Yeah, that. Uh, that's, that's <laughs> So 14, 12, LFO, 11, 53, start of the fourth quarter. Blanket ship in the shotgun, four wide. Davis in the backfield, the snap keeps up the middle. Okay. That is a big gain by Dylan Blankenship. I think he makes his way all the way forward. And I love to see that because he gets met about five yards past the line of scrimmage. And like we've been saying all night, he's going to fall three or four more yards further than he where is. he makes contact. And Dylan is a big, strong kid. He is. And, and for a kid that's taking punishment from defensive linemen all year, I love to see him delivering the blow. Oh, they, hard they count. Got Give him the first down. Laundry on the field, it's going to be a Warrior first down. That's three or four he's got them on the hard count tonight. So his hard count must be really, really strong. My old coach used to say, hold your water. Yeah. And that's what these Warrior offensive linemen have done. So we have first and 10 for the Warriors on the 43-yard uh, line, it looks like.
Dylan's going to take off, and he's going to get back maybe to the line of scrimmage. Uh-oh, Dylan's hurt, it appears. Maybe an offensive lineman got rolled up on. Freshman quarterback Darian Keith is, is coming in on the play. If anything, just to give. Nope, nope. nope putting, looks like oh, Greg Johnson. Will be. Number 11, Graydon Johnson, Graydon Johnson, Jr. I tell you what, he is a, he's a dynamic little athlete. You know, he's kind of built well, like Kyler Murray. Last week, Graydon came in and on his first throw, went over the middle to Trayvon, and had it not been for a well-timed slap, that ball would have been a touchdown. So let's see what he does here. Graydon's definitely got a little riverboat gambler in him. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. And we fall on it. That wasn't necessarily necessary right there. A little strip at the end. Blankenship comes back in. Yeah, that's that's hard to come in right there. Uh, completely right, cold. Completely cold. Yeah. Not even warm, you know, not even thinking you're coming no, in the game right uh, there. No. At least on an injury timeout, you've got a second or two to stand on the sidelines and, and get the arm warm. We need to talk to Dylan. If you're going to go down, stay down and let the quarterback yeah, get warmed exactly. up a little bit <laughs> next time. Stay a little longer, bud. Snap. Blanket chip back in. He throws. Cannon of an arm. Comebacker to, to Bowman. To Trayvon. No, it's Bowman, yeah. Oh, we got a late hit, it looks like. Oh, holding on the Warriors. No. That's not good. We're wanting that late hit, but we keep not getting it, so. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you'd have it at fourth and 12 coming up, so let's see what the, the Colts do. Looks like they're going to decline it. Did they decline it? They did. Looks like it. Because they learned their lesson the last time. <laughs> <laughs> so that will bring up fourth down and 12. Going to bring on Bryson Sullivan in the punt unit. Ten minutes to go in the game. Love to see Bryson be able to pin one about the within the five. Give me, give me a little lob wedge right here with a little yeah. back him up on it. Drop it down there on the one. Put it, put it towards the sideline so there's no return. There Just it a is. booming it is. punt gives us plenty of time. The Man. ball's gonna go. Oh, Love it. inside the, the ten. And I'm okay grabbing it there. You never know yeah. what happens on that second hop. Sometimes it's a little quick little hop that just scoots into the end zone, and instead and of at the five, you're going towards the twenty. You, you take a possible three yards that you were gonna get, and you say fourteen. So. So in one of the one of the last chances here for Kahala to get things going offensively, uh, they have to drive it. 934 left, as you see in the bottom right-hand side of your, your screen. This will be a very long drive if they are able to pull it off. 94, 95 yards. The give, and White May wraps him up after about a gain of five. Up to the 12. The snap to Kinnaman, the give, and he has some room. Oh, wow. Big play there by number 38. I, I don't have my, my roster in front of me there, but big play. Just a track attack. Grab him by the shoestrings. And the Colts get a first down on the Warrior 19 yard line. You got a new set of downs, you'd love this defense be able to get a stop here. The running back shifts. Oh, we got a false start there on the far side. Lineman just, just couldn't hold it. And at this point in the fourth quarter, your defense is going to take anything that they're willing to give you. Any way to get them behind the sticks is huge. 
you know, it, it just takes one play here or there to, to make the difference. And we're in a tight ball game here. It's a one, one score game. I don't know about y'all, but I enjoy these type of ball games. The give and oh. He is met hard at the line, but he's able to gain about seven yards on the play. Man, Helton came in and laid the boom. The clock continues to run. Eight minutes, ten seconds to go. It'll be second down and about eight. Clock still running. The evening air has gotten quite chilly. It has. It just feels great. It's a perfect night for football. It is a great night. It is absolutely fall football weather. It looks like he's going deep. <clears throat> a Darius or Ladarius Bunch over there on the defense. And it, it really looks like the quarterback had to let go of the ball before he really wanted he, to. Yeah, I was going to say, I believe he threw that one a little earlier and he wanted. We call that blanket coverage. Blanket coverage. You mentioned the chilly night. I had to throw my jacket on. And Ladarius Power suggestion, is, man. <laughs> Ladarius covering him like a blanket there. Third and a long eight here. The Warriors defense needs a stop here. <laughs> I can see us up here during the winter games. We'll be up here with like, you know, Coleman <laughs> heaters and, and chili. I'll tell I'm you gonna, what, it, it gets it gets pretty brutal. bone chilly up here with the draft. Got a hold there. No call. And they're gonna pick up the first down. Like a pretty obvious hold up the middle, but that was a big third down play for them. Coming Somebody up out on, there on Battlefield Parkway has got a train horn and they like showing it off because that's about the fourth time. I've well, played. you know, you're in high school and might as well just ride up and down a football field and honk your train horn. Seven and a half minutes left in the game. Kenman with the hard count. We we don't jump. He's changing the play like Peyton Manning, Omaha. He takes the snap. He has he has all day to throw and. Oh, and a Just drop. dropped it. Hey, he had him, too. He threw it right in the hands of number 14. Tilly had the ball and just. Almost looked like he tried to run with it before he caught it. Is, I mean, that is two would-be interceptions tonight for the Warriors secondary. We're uh, we're definitely thankful for that. Well, the Warrior defense tonight, one of the things that, that, that you can say is, is they have not spent the entire night on the field, and it shows. Yes, yeah, it when does. They it. have a chance to catch a breather. They can play with anybody. And they're they're getting into the backfield more than they have. They give up the middle, and we're all over him. Maybe a gain of two. Love to see a ball pop out. One of these next few games. Turnover's always nuts. Woo. Somebody is shaking the booth. Yeah, Feels like an earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> Band doing their part. Got the drum line going and a little dancing going on. It's has all the Friday night feels. Big third down. Third and six, 628 to go. Snap. Rolling right, looking. Wyatt May, yeah. He's got Wyatt May all over him. He's got to throw it a little further than he wanted to. They're going to throw yeah. the flag. Gonna call it. Yeah. Yeah, you. <sighs> got to turn around and look for that ball. You do, and there was a lot of contact on that. Even though the ball was thrown out of bounds, there's got to be something called on that, and you hate to see it, but at least it's not a 50, you know, 40, 50 yard game. Say, at least we are not playing the pro game right now. We're yeah. scouting to spot of the foul. I sure do wish college football would go to spot of the foul. It'd save some oh, yeah. would-be injuries there. I know that's it's not time or place for that here in a tightly contested fourth that's quarter. That's going to bring the ball out to the 49-yard line of LFO. 6.18 to go. First I'll take 10. the 49 instead of the 35. Four wide. Snap. Looking, throwing. Quick pitch, catch, Great right hit. All over. covered up by May and Mitchell. Once May had him wrapped up, Jared Mitchell was able to get in there and lay a little now, extra hit need on to him. see one stripped loose. Now that I think about it, there's been no turnovers tonight, I don't think. 
It's it's come close. Snap, rolls, keeps up the middle, In breaks the tackle. Oh no! And he is gone. That is number one, Kinnaman. That's Kinnaman. And that's the first time that, I, that he's really just broken loose like that. But he showed you his wheels when he and got he did. out of the field. He's able to get up the middle and found a dump truck sized hole. Five and a half minutes remaining. The Colts go up. 18 to 14. Inevitably, you look for them to go for two right here to try to push it a little further away. You're, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. I guess you want to make sure that you get the two so that they have to make the extra point. Right. Four wide. Throw, and it is Incomplete. no good. So, Cahulla Creek special teams on the night tonight. That is four failed conversions, or three failed conversions, I apologize. One missed extra point and two missed two point conversions. And a missed field goal. Oh yeah, and a missed field goal, exactly. So, what could have been, that's potentially six points that would have been on the board. And what could have been a 24 to 14 lead is but an 18 14 lead. LFO with plenty of time left on the clock. All three timeouts. No need to get in a hurry right here. Let's just slowly march our way down the field. Like we said earlier, they were going to have to march at 95 yards down the field, and they did, especially, you know, with that one big play also helped out a lot. But yes. uh, we kind of kicked ourselves in the foot on a couple third downs that would have – I mean, Maybe it, it, prevented that. This has been a game of what ifs because, you know, like you said, I mean, we, we shot ourselves in the foot in the first quarter. We had a couple of really big first downs back to back, was building a little momentum, and then a couple of just silly penalties. Uh, scores from across town Lafette and Gordon Lee keep going back and forth. 22 uh, 19 Lafette with eight minutes left. Bremen still up 31 to 6 on Ridgeland. Uh, Adairsville up 35 to 3 over Ringgold. Short kick. Donnie Brown. Great, so great catch. Will take over at the 32. Well. Definitely need six here, um, but with three timeouts, you know, you still have plenty of time to, to run your entire playbook. Oh, yeah. The band doing their part. Love to see Bowman get a chance here at number 10. I hadn't heard Gott's name in a while, so I'd love to see him get something as well. Blanket chip on the snap. Looking to throw. There He's he got is. Time. He going to Bowman. Bowman going up. Oh, oh and it's Bowman's. just pulled out of his hand at the last minute. Looks like he saved an interception there. Cahola coaches are coming up. Big third down. You know, I mean, definitely four down territory at this point, but you'd like to see at least five or six yards gained. So it make it. Blankenship looks, the defense is all over him. Ball goes to Bowman and he drops it. And bring up fourth down and eight. You got a punt here, coach. Uh, yes, you do. You have to try to pin him as deep as you can at this point. And just like that, three quick plays, and we're going to give the ball right back. We're going to go for it. Oh, no, we're going to go for it. Fourth down eight. This, as they say, could be the game. I mean, your best target right here is just to throw it up in the air and let Bowman go get it. Got a flag on the ground. 
Oh. That's... Well, that's going to be... We got two flags on the field. Illegal shift on the Warriors. Looks like that's what both flags are for. Looks like the and Warrior defense is going to have to make something happen. For want to pull away with with a victory tonight. Well, they've played strong all night long. I have no reason to believe they're not going to do the same right here. They have, and they, I mean, they have been on the field most of the second half. So, 4:31 left to go. 18-14, Cahola Creek with the ball on the Warrior 34. Snap to give up the middle. Cahola Creek at this point is just going to try to keep the clock moving. And, and oh. Coach Brian calls a timeout. And, and Coach Dunn and Coach Guy are going to, I'm sure, emphasize the fact that we need to rip the ball out here. And if you're Cahola, you keep it on the ground as much as you can. And all honesty, I'm probably going to run it with the quarterback. And I, we haven't seen him much, but when we have seen him, it's been dynamic. Yes. as if uh, Gordon Lee and LaFed are in a barn burner over there. They just keep scoring faster than I can update you. Gordon Lee now up with two minutes and 40 seconds. For a first down, keeps the clock rolling. That's just what I said. I'd put it in the quarterback's hands. You, you got to at this point. I mean, if you're playing smart football, all you're trying to do is to not make any mistakes right here and run that clock out as much as you can. They're, they're giving them third down here. Third wow. down and a short one. They didn't measure that. <laughs> well, our vantage point obviously is a little higher up in there, so maybe they see something we don't, but it does look like a, it does look really close to a first from here. <laughs> I mean, they're right on top of each other. Snap, handoff. And he's going to get the, the first. Middle. First down and more, gain of about four. Clock still rolling. Looks like. Clock stops for the chains to move. Back rolling. Your coach, Matt Bryan, obviously you've got two timeouts remaining. You don't want to call them too early because you want to try to save at least one if you need it on a potential game winner. If you give up a score right here, though, that makes it that much more difficult. Snap, handoff straight up the middle. And he is just looking, looking. And as we've seen, you know, it's been the, the story of the year. Late in the fourth, the Warrior defense is starting to wear down and the big fullback running back up the middle is just gashing us. Well, and we have faced in, in this early football season, we have faced some big running backs. We and go. like we've said before, it's easy to square up on somebody in the first and second quarter, but by the third and fourth, when you've been pushed around a lot, you don't want to square up on them late in that fourth quarter, and especially right now that it's gotten a little colder out here and everything, it hurts a whole lot more. And Straight up the middle again, he's losing for the, inter for the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown. That's number 24, Peyton Gordon. And he's had a solid game all night. You know. Yes, he has. He has, but you can definitely tell that the defense is, is gassed. Yeah, they're tired at this I mean, point. Uh, the offense kept him off a grand total of four plays on that last drive. You, yeah. you, can't, can, you can't continue in that manner. Not that it's a long. lost cause right now, but you just start to look back at missed opportunities for oh. the Warriors tonight. And so many. Kick is up. 
Finally a good kick, kick is tonight. Good. Over First there. completed conversion on the night. 25-14, 2.25 to go. The Warriors will get the ball. One thing that I call agree you're going to kick it deep and you're going to make them go the length of the field. Yeah. One thing that I have noticed is a big difference this week is it's been clean on both sides, you know, both sides of the field. Uh, a lot of sportsmanship being displayed. Uh, you can tell the Warriors are, are playing a very emotional, uh, how do you say, very emotionally disciplined this week. Yes. Well, and, and it goes back to what I said at the beginning of the broadcast, guys. When you're you're a new team and you've struggled over the past couple years and hadn't won many games, you've got to learn how to win. And that comes with finishing games in the second half. And and you can tell and that Dallas has finished some games this year. They have. And we haven't. And it's getting – the Warriors are getting real close to it. And not that this game is over by any means, but there's a big shot at a – a win next week. Well, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't want to look ahead or anything, but I mean, let's do look ahead for a second. First time meeting of these two teams during the regular season in almost what 13 years, 14 years, something like that. Well, and I have a as Kahola Pooch kicks it again. We're gonna take it and and we're gonna flag be coming in. Flag coming in. Oh, it's getting a little, a little chippy. chippy. Um, number 10, is that May on the ground? That's May on the ground, it looks like. Wyatt May on the ground. So we'll take a uh, little entry timeout here on the uh, audio and uh, come right back here in just a second. May able to get up. He's limping off the field, but it looked really bad when it first happened. He got rolled up on. Those are never fun. Yeah, he, he looks like he's seriously well, injured because that, that's one that tough kid. That kid is tough as nails. So if he's getting if carried he's getting off, he's carried, hurt. Yeah, I was going to say, if he's the one getting carried off. You just hate to see that, especially this late in the game. Two minutes left. Kid has battled all night. Warriors with the ball, blanket chip on the snap. He's rolling right, looking to throw. He throws Sullivan wide Deep open. Sullivan. He's up the sideline. And just hops out of bounds. You know, we brought up the game next week with Ridgeland. I have, that, that game has a special place in my heart. Uh, Ridgeland graduate here. I yeah, coached well. several of those kids on that team. And I had somebody ask me, what color are you going to wear next Friday? And I said, well, guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm probably going to wear something that's not red or black because it's hard rooting against the kids that you, you coached growing up and the kids that now you see in the hallway. Blanket chip on the snap. It has been pointed out to me that the red team does sign my paychecks. <laughs> well, and you are amongst the whole mess of graduates here, too. So. <laughs> Blanket chip Throws goes deep. deep. Oh, that's uh, – oh, oh, come on. As Clear that, that, contact. That was a little past that uh, five-yard window there, guys. It was. Well, he's full stride there, and, yeah, the, the pass was deep. But he ran right into a pick. A chance. <laughs> yeah, our uh, Warrior faithful over here on our sidelines voicing their displeasure. <laughs> the student section is not pleased. Look, by they're the worried call. about the uh, referee's vision plan. The toss off to Davis and big hole. Davis up the sideline to the 49 yard line. Boys, Tyler Davis was about one block away right there from taking that to the house. Yeah, he was. That one guy we, just got we, his fingertips on him, was able to 
get them enough to slow them down. With, with just under two minutes to go in the game, we, we still have a, if we can get a quick score here. Still got a chance. We still have a chance. Cahola defense looks real confused right now. I'd love to see the ball aired out. Blankenship, good block by Davis. Wide the over the Bowman. middle to Bowman. Bowman, Bowman breaks the tackle, he's still on his feet. Down to the 30. Clock stops with the first down, so you'd like to see him hurry up and get up there, get set, and get another one. Blankenship takes the ball. He's back past deep. He goes up for God. Oh, oh, oh wow. And it's caught by Jared Mitchell and it's caught on by the Jared tip. Mitchell down on the six yard line. A little you, tip drill. You've heard of the hook and ladder. Well, I think they practiced that in basketball. Mitchell, oh. right place, right time. I believe I taught him that this summer. You know what they say, guys. You know, it's not over till it's over. Clock Minute ticking. 20 and counting. It's important you get a touchdown here, though. Blanket chip on the snap, looking, looking to throw. He throws, passes caught. All over him, and it's still a touchdown. And he still got it. Yes, touchdown. Touchdown. yes sir. Touchdown. What a play by Trayvon. Wow, what a catch. Heavy contact on that pass. <laughs> Let's, on the defense, good. Warriors play with take a the lot score of to 25 to 20. Kahala. A lot of grit being shown right now. Now, if you're the Warriors right here, the question you ask yourself is do you go wide open? With a minute. That is Jared left. Mitchell on the two point conversion. 25 22, Kahala Creek. Get the hands team ready, boys. And, it, you know, if it hasn't come down to a kicker, I'm glad we have Ross and Sullivan that on our exactly side. That is exactly right. Ross and Sullivan's range is on the field. It is. And if we get the ball back, we still have two timeouts left. It's, I'm unsure how we do, but, man, I'm thankful. the penalty we're going to be kicking off from from the 45 of Kahola you just you almost like to see him drop it down on about the 20 yard line where nobody is I mean if it's me I'm going far right here I believe you may see that uh, that odd little kick formation we saw last week you may see that right here Well, if you look, there's no one deep to the right, and now Kahola's deep man. Oh, no, he's going. Oh, this he's, is, he's, he might side. pooch it to the 20, guys. I'm... Time out just to, just to see how they line up. That was a smart call by Kahola. <laughs> guys, there's some energy in the stadium tonight. and you, When you've struggled all year, it's, it's good to get in a high-scoring contest and just – Give yourself a chance at the end. You love to see that. In positive news, uh, White May is off of the training table and appears to be sitting on the bench with his buddies. I'm not sure how significant the injury is, but he is not. Word is he's walking, so that's good for that young man and good for our team. Teams on the field. <laughs> Sullivan tees it up. Oh, 
The kick. Great kick. He caught we it. We got it. We got the ball. We got the ball. Got the ball. Oh. Yes, sir. What a kick and what a recovery by Tyler Davis. Oh, Huge play my by goodness. The Warriors. They're still kind of talking about it, so we'll see. There was no flag thrown. <laughs> oh, it went far enough, too. No flag was thrown, yet they're giving the Colts the ball. Rewind. Yeah, the ball does have to get all the way to the 35-yard line, and I think we might have touched it right at the. I was going to say they're spotting right the at 36, the 36. So. Yeah. A little confusion by the Warriors on defense. And the run up the middle, and we're going to take a quick timeout. Be a win for the Warriors. Love to get a stop here, get another timeout, and see what we can do on third down. Maybe well, even you want to get long. a you want to get a negative play here if you can. You know what's coming. You you read it's going to be a quarterback read. He's either going to give or he's going to keep it. You got those two and stop them in the backfield here. Love to see it. Warriors the give up the, the middle. Ball. Oh, nope. Oh, thought the ball was out, but. Simpson there with a good rip and just couldn't rip the ball out of Gordon's hands. The strong young man that's going to need a need an ice bath tonight, I think. Yeah, he has played a heck of a game though. <laughs> so 25-22, under a minute to go in the game. Third down and four. LFO uses a timeout, has one left. Cola Creek still has two of theirs. Warrior defense has got to hold right here for a chance to have the ball back. If Cola Creek doesn't go for it on fourth, which if I'm the coach, I'm going for it on fourth just to keep the clock moving. I just, I don't know. If I'm Cahola here, I'm running the ball and then I punt it if I don't get it because you're going to pin them deep. Yeah, but if you punt, you risk a loose snap, which has we saw, happened we to didn't them see this. already. I, I mean, if you're Cahola just, Creek right here, you literally could take the snap, run around for a minute, eat some time off the clock. Maybe even get a safety. And, and do it two downs in a row. Good, yes. good, good, good. We held our water there on the hard count. Snap, give up the middle. Yes. Good, good, good tackle. tackle right there. Who else? Peyton Simpson into the backfield. So here we are, fourth down. Fourth down, we got 40 seconds roughly. The clock is ticking. Obviously, they're going to hold until they absolutely have yeah. to. They're going to force Coach McBride to call a timeout. We don't have it, I don't think. He's only got one left. I, I think the scoreboard yeah, is incorrect. Yeah, the scoreboard is, is incorrect. Score? Okay, yeah. my bad. We, only, we, we don't have one. If I'm Cahola, I take the leg game here and punt it and end the game, punt it out of bounds. Yeah. No, I wouldn't do that. I'd probably just run around backwards and slide down. Because there's only going to be about probably five or six seconds left on, if that. Four seconds left on the clock. 4.4. I nah, just run, you, run backwards and lay down. I mean, even if you, you could run to the end zone and take the safety and you still win by one. Yeah. That way you don't take any kind of chances with, you know, speaking you just, strictly from a strategy point there. I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. You definitely Maybe they go the pooch kick. You definitely like don't punt it. You definitely ain't gonna uncork one right here and take the chance that Trayvon got takes him one of the house. No, no, no. I, they, they pooch kicked earlier tonight, and if it's me, I might do that and just tell him. Or you take the, tell the quarterback to snap it and throw it as far as he can because he's got a good arm. And just to let the folks at home know, we went back over the video and looked at that onside kick. It just did. It missed by barely half a yard. 
traveling the full 10 yards or the Warriors would have had the ball back inside the red zone. Great attempt, though. Oh, absolutely. There's the pooch kick. There's the pooch kick. Time expires. So with no time remaining, ball game ends. Cahulla Creek 25-22, victorious here tonight at Tommy Cash Stadium. Guys, all we can say is this was a back and forth contest all night. Corey, what do you think? It it definitely was. You're, uh, you just hate to see that happen. Notice I just say, Corey, what you think right there, because I'm good either way. I'm just, the wind's out of my sails a little bit, you know. You have a lot of encouraging things to happen there, but you just want to try and find a way to win. It's a well, good football team we played against tonight. I thought the Warriors did show a lot of resiliency they there did. at the end. You know, you put yourself in a position to possibly get a chance to get the football back and the clock just happened to run out. Uh, you had a really good chance at a win tonight. You're probably going to have a really do. good chance at a win next Friday night. Uh, I, I really feel like, guys, we let one get away from us right here. H half a yard. I, I honestly believe if we get that onside kick, we win the game. But if ifs and butts were coconuts, you know. That's what, that's what uh, Don Sutton used to say. If ifs and butts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. Well, yeah. folks, for Corey Phillips, Corey Lingerfeld, I'm Rusty Parkhill. Glad to have you guys with us tonight on the WNN Friday Night Lights broadcast. We will not be back with you guys for two weeks as we'll be back for homecoming, which is against Gordon Lee. So we will see you guys then. We hope you guys enjoyed the broadcast with us tonight, and we will catch you guys.